In today's video, we're gonna take regular wipe foreground and we're gonna transform it into this. Or even this. Hi, my name is Adrian and on this channel you're gonna learn editing as well as shooting and collaborating so uh, tap subscribe if you haven't already and now let's start create our wipe effect okay so we've got in our timeline two clips first what we're gonna do is to apply transition that is called foreground wipe it's available under fusion transitions so basically it's available in free version 2 so just take it, grab it, and apply in between clips. Uh, let's make it longer like that. So this is how it looks by default. Okay, let me close effects. And the, in the inspector, let's uh, customize it a bit. Uh, maybe the border is too wide, so I'll make it sound like that. So let's say this is what we want. And now to further customize it, because in Inspector you got only several controls, but since this is a fusion uh, transition, we can open it in fusion. So let's do it. In order to open it in fusion, you need to select the transition and in the Inspector under Transitions tab, uh, you will see this icon. And you need to click this uh, fusion icon, okay? Well, okay, let me close media, let me close inspector to have more space. So this is what you should see. We got our media in one, media in two, which is uh, clip one, clip two, and we've got our media out, which is uh, the output uh, of what we see in the preview screen. Okay, so this is our transition. It's a group of nodes, so let me ungroup it. Right click and click ungroup. And this is what's happening in this transition. All the nodes that are responsible for this effect. We're gonna modify some of them. First off, what I'd like to do is uh, to change, let me switch it to single viewer mode like that. And uh, let me make the preview a bit bigger. If you don't see this navigation panel, just uh, tap V uh, on your keyboard. Okay. So first, what we're going to do is I want to change this um, shadow to white. So this node is responsible for, the, for this shadow. So open inspector to select this node and double click shadow. So you see all the controls in it. This is easy because we have color here. So simply change the color to white. Okay, first modification is done. Now we have a white shadow. What we're gonna do next is, uh, let me make more room here. So I will drag these two nodes a bit. I will move the merge node like that. Now I'm gonna select the shadow node and I will open selection tool. So on your keyboard, just tap shift space and you should see a tool that looks like that. Okay, so with the shadow node selected, search for something that's called soft glow. Okay, and add. This is too intense, so in the inspector, I will increase the threshold, decrease the gain also, and make it uh, glow size uh, bigger. And next, what we want to do is uh, with the soft glow selected, open selection tool again, but this time search for light rays and add. It should be added automatically between uh, after the soft glow. So in here, what I'm going to do is uh, check alpha limits effects and I'm going to also decrease source threshold a bit, increase the length, decrease the soften control to zero, uh, decrease also the brightness like that. And I will 
change the location position of the ray directions uh, y0.5 so it's in the middle of our image okay this is how it looks so far uh, let me switch timeline playback resolution to quarter okay so this is what we got so far next what we want to do is uh, select the channel boolean node that one and from the selection tool I will add drop shadow node so this is before this is after I will make it closer the object like that and uh, yeah okay so that would be pretty much it we have one more note to add what I'm gonna do is click somewhere on the note to not have any notes selected and from the selection tool again search for fast noise yeah okay we got it now switch to double viewer so we have right and left viewer this one is one this one is two so if i select fast noise note and i tap one on my keyboard i will have the preview of the fast note on the left side so what i'm gonna do now is to play with the controls to adjust my fast noise i will switch off media out to not slow down uh, my computer so let's focus on fast noise now I want to set contrast to something like 10, decrease the detail a bit and increase the scale. And I will increase the C rate, maybe faster like that. Yeah, I think that's, that's okay. So this is our fast noise and I'm gonna connect it to this dissolve uh, mask input. So if I preview this dissolve on my second screen, this is what I see. Okay, and if I preview right now my media out, this is how my wipe looks like. This is how it's uh, distorted with the magic mask. Let me disable the preview of the fast noise mask. So tap one again. And what I'm gonna do now is soften this edge of this wipe foreground. You can do that in this dissolve node in the softness control. So I will increase it like that. Okay. So this is what we got so far. This is much cooler than the standard wipe foreground effect that is available in, in the DaVinci. I found out that you can even add your own effects to it or effects available in the effects menu. I'm gonna add my transition crash transform transition to it that is available on my coffee page. Let me show you what I mean. In effects, templates, edit and under transitions, you can choose other effects as well. I will use my crash transform nodes, so I will drag it to the nodes panel, simple as that, and I will disconnect this uh, media to node and connect my crash transform transition to it. And boom, look what happened. We got our wipe foreground transition merged with my crash transform transition which looks epic in my opinion so as you see the possibilities are endless and you can customize uh, each free transitions in davinci resolve so it looks awesome and epic so this is how it looks this is how we can utilize for instance my crash transform transition with uh, the wipe foreground transition and create some stunning effects stunning transitions Okay guys, so this is what I got for today. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and of course comment this video if you liked it or not. Or if you have any questions, that will really support my channel and motivate me to create more tutorials like that. One more thing guys, if you don't feel like create this uh, fusion effect uh, from scratch by watching my video, you can get it from my coffee page. But if you want it for free, you can download it by registering on this form and I will send it to you for free, of course. Now I'm going to show you how to install it once you get it. 
So uh, in order to implement it, let's say you got this situation, you got two clips and you want to implement my um, uh, modified wipe foreground effect. So all you need to do is uh, apply this transition, the standard transition that is available in your Free Da Vinci Resolve. Open Fusion in the inspector as I showed you before and uh, simply select all the nodes and delete them. And from the file import Fusion Composition, just choose the uh, my file that I'm gonna send you. And if you go back to edit page, the wipe transition should look like this. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching again. See you in the next one. Bye.